Now to the other news of this day, and we're going to begin in Connecticut, which today became the 19th state to legalize recreational use of marijuana. Governor Lamont signing the measure, which makes it legal for adults to possess and use pot starting July 1st. It also opens the door to a lucrative new cannabis industry, which in turn, of course, could bring in much needed tax money for the state. This is the major reason marijuana is being legalized. Here's Iowa News reporter Marcus Solis. With the stroke of a pen, Governor Ned Lamont made it official in Hartford. The lighting of a joint or any other recreational consumption of marijuana is now legal in Connecticut. 75 miles away, Tim Armstrong picking up medicinal marijuana for PTSD says he's on board. It's natural. It's, it's not going to hurt you. It's, it's harmless. It's, it's marijuana. Connecticut is now the 19th state in the nation to legalize marijuana. The 300 page bill also allows those with low level convictions to have their records expunged. Attorney Darnell Crossland says decriminalization is long overdue, especially in minority communities. The idea that we need law enforcement to continually uh, bring charges against young African American Latino men based on this idea of marijuana and tie them into the system. Uh, has come to a halt, we hope. Besides the legal implications, the state is looking to keep economic pace with New York and New Jersey, which recently legalized pot. Connecticut expects to take in an estimated $70 million a year in tax revenue by 2025. The alternative is an unregulated market, a black market, an underground market where none of these things are controlled and they're much more dangerous. Possession of up to an ounce and a half becomes legal July 1st, though retail sales won't likely begin until next May. In Stanford, Marcus Solis, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.